the greatest casualty of climate change will be the mobility and movement of persons. My name is Chaloka Bayani. I teach international law and human rights at the London School of Economics in the Law Department. I prepared the first monograph on internally displaced persons, um, and it is that monograph that led me uh, to all the work that I've been doing right up to the time when I was appointed um, two years ago now almost as the UN Special Rapporteur on the Human Rights of Internally Displaced Persons. It works through the United Nations first and foremost and in the United Nations the principal area of focus is the Human Rights Council. So I have to inform the Council once every year, make a report to Council on my activities and what the problems are and make recommendations to Council as well as uh, to states on what needs to be done. I also have to report to the General Assembly once a year uh, on more or less the same things, but different thematic areas are, are involved. So ever since I took the mandate, for example, I went to the Maldives to look at climate change related displacement. Uh, and so for myself, the islands uh, sinking and submerging, uh, you see the um, sea barriers getting dismantled. Um, and you wonder what would happen in 50 years time. What is the level of preparedness for the Maldives? and for the rest of the world to receive populations that will need to be relocated elsewhere completely, you know, to other parts of the world. And, and that was part of the reason I went there. The greatest casualty of climate change will be the mobility and movement of persons around the world internally and, and externally. So the Maldives is not uh, alone. There is Nauru, Grenada, um, and a whole host of, of other islands in, in, in that boat. Uh, elsewhere you see desertification, famine, hunger, you know, in the whole of Africa uh, a year or so ago, you saw almost uh, 10 million people streaming out of there. Um, the other side of the coin is that, of course, as resources shrink, there is bound to be conflict over water, uh, over food, over cattle. So there is a relationship there between, say, those natural measures of adaptation arising from climatic changes and risks to livelihood, uh, including natural disasters in some extreme cases, and those that are actually slow and over a period of time and manifest in um, fights over resources or individuals moving because the area is no longer habitable.